So I'm currently down at Nottingham Aeros today where I'm starting my flight training on the PA28 Arrow. It's an Arrow 3 Golf Tango Echo Bravo Zulu. I'm used to flying aircraft with variable pitch propellers, but today is going to be the first time actually flying one with a retractable undercarriage, so I'm really excited to do that. So this was the third flight in my CPL flight training. The first couple of hours were in a Warrior, but then I decided to continue the rest of the training in the Arrow, mostly because I wanted to get really familiar with the aircraft for the CPL skills test, but also to log a good bit more complex time. This isn't usually the normal split, you're going to do probably 15 hours in the Warrior, then 10 hours in the Arrow. In this video I've cut down a lot, of it shows us departing and routing northbound where we conduct some general handling in the Arrow to look at the way the aircraft performs in different configurations. Then recover back into the circuit which is really where you get to learn the aircraft initially and that's where most of this edit goes. I don't think you'd be too fussed at watching me fly a pretend circuit at 3000 feet, it's better to see the action actually in the circuit. There's going to be two videos on the CPL flight training. This first one looks at the arrow conversion and the second one we're going to look at all the different parts which links the CPL together and talk about what to expect on the CPL flight test. So I really hope you enjoy this video guys. A huge thank you also to my instructor Morris. He's an absolute legend and I could not have got through my CPL without him. Can I get our little window closed eh? Yes. Okay, so it's a left-hand circuit. I can't see anyone on downwind or left base at the moment. No, we no, have not heard anything at this point. So, a call ready for departure? Yep. Aero 70 is Alpha 1 ready for departure. And we don't need permission because air ground. Aero 70, surface wind uh, 290, 10 knots. Landing at runway 27, Aero 70. So, we've got A for uh, transponder goes to altitude. Uh, lights are coming on. Pito heat isn't required. Yep. Transponder set. And approach is still in Kurt. Short backtrack here or? All the way to the grass edge. Roger. Yep. So if you come down the right hand side, swing round to the left at the far end. And I'm looking for 70 knots to 80 knots to 90 knots. Yeah, 65 off the ground. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking for is a steady climb towards that 80 knots initially. Once we're clear of the runway, Dab the brakes, gear up, pause, wait for everything. You'll get the gear horn, or not necessarily the horn, the actual unsafe mode, and the three greens. Once that's clear, I want you to bring back the manifold to 24 inches and bring back to 24 inches. Roger. That'll do for the time being there. We can go 25 25 initially if you want to max it out. <laughs> Probably. Looking after the engine, but bring it yeah, back. Yeah, we'll do 24 touch. 24. Okay, so runway is clear. Runway 70 is taking off runway 27. Okay, so no power on the brakes, so toes are clear of the brakes. And then release the nose wheel pressure with a bit of back pressure. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so power is set. Airspeed is alive. Two Just a bit of aid or into wind. That's it. 65. She no there she goes. We're already at 80 knots. We're running out of runway. Damp the brakes in readiness. There you go. And then reach for your gear, leave it now, that's it. Gear in transit. Gear transit. And we're at to XR8 to 90. I'm going to do a turn shortly just before this road. That's it. Okay, so start the turn now. And we've got three greens removed. Right yep, that's it. And then we'll look in just a second to get to 24 24. And we're looking for 90 knots. That's it. 85 is good at the moment. We're transiting between the 80 up to 90. Roger. And then power back now. Yep, that's fine. Remember, this is the key position just here where yeah. collision 
is likely to have. And a left turn then. Towards the right hand side of the overhead. is climbing high, departing to the north. Yeah, a lot going on in a short space of time. I'm just going to try and get rid of this. Might be mine. Yeah, I think it was mine. That's it. Okay, I can't see anyone join the circuit dead side. Okay, and now if you look over the right hand side of the forward, you'll see a single wind turbine an inch below the horizon, just beyond Visual. the waters. That's your aiming point as such. Roger that, yeah. Right, I have to take off checks. So take off checks now. I have to take off the foot brake, it's on and off, and the gear That's good. is up. Flaps are also up. Uh, the power is set as required, which is 24 24. Yep, just a little bit on there. That's it, because the density is getting less up here. Uh, landing light over a thousand feet AGL, landing light is coming off, and the fuel pump also. Yes. Altimeters, we're just going to check 1216, 1216, they are within 75. Yep. Either side. Um, common nav equipment, so we can look to identify now. Yes. So mixed gear, we're going to pull back now to 12 gallons per hour, did you say? Well, it's on 12. On 12, right, got you. In the climb, it's going to be... This aircraft is pretty good to leave that bugger all the way okay, cool. the I've just lost eyes on our wind. Uh, it's probably just below you. Just below you down here. Roger. Uh, and ice, I can't see any ice to the left or any ice to the right. Okay, we're well, on speed. I'm looking for altitude 2,400 feet. OK, just flip your page over ready now, because you've got... Off and climb. ...a cruise and things like that that we can look at. OK. OK, so let's level off at 2,500. We're clear of East Midland as well, so we can climb to that altitude. And you can see here we've got a nav flag, so something is incorrect here. We've got a one two display, we've got GPS enabled, so if you push that button here... Oh, there we go. A presto. <laughs> So, that's a gotcha if it's in GPS mode. OK, so we're on route section, we're on VLOC, 112 decimal eight, identified, and you can see there basically is one... Ah, uh, got it, yeah. Yeah, direct out. And we're 18 miles, 90 miles south on the reciprocal. OK, there's two and a half. Oh, OK. Getting you there. Are we going to let the speed build? Yep, so just do... Let everything just build up to 120. The closer you get to it, like 110, then you can set 23, 24. Gotcha. Pretty much so you're already set that, because of the density altitude as we come up, the manifold's got less. And then just trim off to hold you to an arm. The blade will do everything else for you. Every 70 is clearing to north, changing on route to East Midlands. That's it. Arrow 70, request basic service. Arrow 70, East Midlands radar, patch of detail. Arrow 70, Piper Arrow, Nottingham on a local uh, VFR flight. We're currently just 7 miles north of Nottingham altitude, 2,000 feet on 1016. Operating to north for some general handling, requesting basic service. Arrow 70, base 6, have QNH 1016, squawk 4571. Basic service, QNH 1016, squawk 4575, Arrow 70. 4571, correction, error 70. Yeah, I'm slightly misheard him then. Yeah, that's fine. He tried to get me, but I... Yeah. So we're approaching our speed now. 
That's it. So you want 23, 24, but you can see with that density altitude with the last yeah. part of the climb, you were pretty much there. Pretty much there. So 23, 24, 24 yeah, we're about there. And if you look at your mixture for the fuel, you're on 12. Yeah. This aircraft saves you that work. Right, well, we'll go into a steep turn and prove a point here, first of all. Nothing to brief. We're doing 120 knots with the power set. Gotcha. You should know this if you've flown variable pitch. I want you to turn into a 45 degree turn and the speed will stay the same. <laughs> the aircraft may initially decelerate if you pull so much G really quick, but she'll accelerate back again because the blade will take care of it. So gotcha, so we'll just do a quick hazel height. It's all good. Airframe, security, good. engine location, lookout, no one in the area. Yeah. Do a small clearing turn to the left. And then banking it over if we wanted to. Gotcha, and we'll roll into it there, into the 45. That's it. Now feel the weight of the aeroplane through yeah. your control. And if you take a glance at the airspeed indicator... It's there, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Exactly the same, yeah. And roll out there. And again, the blade will take care of itself. You're not adding or subtracting anything. The aircraft looks after itself. It's far easier to fly. Thank you. So what we're going to do is reduce power initially, probably down to about 19 inches, leaving the RPM alone. And you're going to keep level flight, and obviously speed will reduce accordingly. You're going to feel the weight of this as if we're going downwind or joining the circuit, that sort of thing. Gotcha. Just get used to the aeroplane first of all. Okay, so T and P are all good. 19. But it drops down quick, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. Now, you initially can't feel much here, but look what's happening to the airspeed already. And if we were to hold the level, just hold the level from sinking away, airspeed should decay because we would only need less power if, <laughs> if we could. There it is going now. Yeah. So you can see it's slow to slow down, but 19 inches, around 19 inches, is going to give you that Hundred and five knots what the book tells us. Slow down to about hundred and eight now, hundred and ten. Yeah, and it's slowing down quicker now as you go slower it's Yeah, because you've got more pitch up as you go. There's your hundred and five. It might actually get to hundred, but hundred and five is potentially what the book is telling us. It's quite a bit of weight. Yeah, I was to take that off. <laughs> yeah, you, you know. can feel it now. Yeah. So it's slow to slow down, so you've got to think ahead, otherwise you've got to take more power off, passengers notice it. Examiner thinks, well, you could have done that back there. You were doing nothing back there for the last five minutes. You know, you're giving him room for argumentative yeah. points, that's all. So, right, steadily back up to 23. There's not been much movement, but obviously we've got to wait for the speed to accelerate again. But this time, when we get to 120, we're going to go 19 inches to slow down. As you slow down, you're going to go gear down. Okay, interesting. And now you've got a lot uh, of back pressure. Is that, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go 120 knots again, then we're going to go back to 19 and gear back down. That's it, yeah. So it's like simulating coming down into the circuit, 100, 105 knots, and then we're going to go gear down and try and overcome that with adding a power eventually to remain level. Power 19. Thank you. That's it. So you've got one slowing down, the other if you like. And I can feel she wants to pitch down. Yeah, so you're trying to hold two and a half. Yeah. Now I don't care what this wants to be now. You're going to hold me a hundred, maybe ninety-five knots. That's quite it. And this is now like flying the Cherokee. You've got to find a balance here and then trim off. Perfect. And it's come back to about twenty-one and a half, twenty-two. And that, I'm surprised how, just how quickly it slowed down then, that was really quick. Yeah, a lot of drag from that to help. So we're going to make a left turn and head west for gotcha. you. And as we come down, we'll go red, blue, green. Yes, red, blue, green. that's it, committing ourselves, runway's clear. Third stage of flat, then we're looking for 75 knots. Got a little bit of drift on here, look. Yeah, uh, trying to get us online with that bloody rain. Yeah, that's it. For 75. That's it. There she is. And not, that's it. Not much of a pitch trim change. Now let's have a look. You'll trim down. 
Now just cut, cut the throttle totally and watch the nose go. We've got all this drag. Look at this. Jesus. <laughs> Maintain 75. Yep. Go I mean, on. that's dropping like a brick. Yes, dropping like a brick. I mean, you could, you, I think you'd only just make this field out of the houses. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go around from this position. So, full power, right foot, pitch up. While you pitch right it up, that's it. So it's called flap, gear, flap, flap. Flap, gear, flap, flap. Uh -huh. I'm looking for 80 knots. Right. Positive right, gear up. Gear up safe. And then we're looking for 80 to 90 for second stage, are we? And 80 knots can be all clear. Okay. We can climb at 80 knots, so we're okay with that. Arrow 70 is complete, like we've changed to Nottingham 134 to 875. Like you normally do. 
And now just treat it as a Cherokee. Okay, so power's coming back. Go on stage. Two stage, waiting for 80 knots. F80. Again, red, blue, green. That's it. I say it doesn't matter now what manifold is, it's just as required to achieve. Everything else is just the same as a Cherokee now. Now we've got a slight crossing for the right hand side, approach is looking clear. Over the caravan, sir. Not sure what you mean. Annoy the holiday makers. Yeah, it's on that. I think it's actually just one of these remote. Um, parks. Oh, like a park place. Isn't yeah. Harris seven zero final touch and go. Southeast wind three one zero one zero. Do you usually reply or just leave him? No, just leave him. Yeah. We're looking for seventy five. Seventy five will do good all the way down there. Yeah. So three greens, red, blue, green. Yeah. Red, blue, green. Okay, keep power there. The speed will stay the same. Pitch for that runway, and that's it. Let's go. It's not like a Cherokee where you have to keep changing throttle uh, too much. Keep the power on oh until you're cutting it like this, and then she starts the sequence, so that's where you create the flare. Little bit of left rudder. Good for well done. Oh. Oh, I was coming on there to speed. Control column back a little bit just to let her nose. She will go airborne of her own accord to neutral. That's it, just to stop that wind going down. That's it. End of the runway coming up, down the brakes. Off we go again. Set when you're happy. Here we Is in transit. The gear has finished and lights oh out. God. And you can start setting your power and what have you. Used to it. Yeah, it wasn't horrendously bad. No, <laughs> but spending an hour out there is probably helping out with understanding and getting your head in the cockpit with all this gear and power and so on together. Yeah, it's even piece are all good. Okay, we'll go for one more standard approach because this is really a full circuit now, isn't it? Again, turning just before this village is coming. Yeah, it's tight, isn't it? Not tight. Nice. Just quick. It's about yeah. four minutes a circuit. And you're aiming for basically that woodland that's on the right hand side of the housing estate. Oh, yeah. Power 7 0 down, we're touching go. Okay, toes are clear of the brakes. Undercarriage is coming down. Next is fully rich. Yeah. I'm going to do the propeller here just because it's a Yeah. He can't go wrong with doing it, don't get me wrong. Uh, that power instrument, GFV is set. Uh, landing light is on, a few things on. Car that you don't have. Um, Pulling for our next turn, we're at 95. Oh, they're hiking how tight these are. They're nice. Okay. Our left base. No one joining final. Let's get the power there. Get our flaps in. That's a bit higher than last. We've got reds, blues, greens. That's it. Configured and trimmed. Yep. The rest is down to just like every flight now, isn't it? Everything set. Just the third stage, which you would still have on the Cherokee.
bit of a whirring going on from the uh, strobes or whatever. Yeah. struggle with students with how tight these are, like with everything happening quick, or they just get quite good at <laughs> They do get quite good at circuits. <laughs> I don't have any problem with the circuit pack with anybody. I don't think I've ever had any problem here. It's the landing. Yeah. So we've got reds, blues, greens, final stage. 75. Area 70 final touch and go. Whether I land belly up or gear down. Yeah. 
have I got enough time to get the gear down or is it just going to fold up because it's not locked and so on? I think it is a decision to make. Yeah. On test, you're going to put gear down. Unless it happens lower than what I've just done, 150 foot, you're probably going to get about 300 foot and here we're going to get so. What a guy. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the cemetery is down with touch again. Right, okay. just like one of the other circuits before, just before you go gear down, gotcha. we're going to go round at 800 foot, almost onto approach, and then I'll cut the throttle. Oh. So we're going to be tight, close, but I want you to get the rate of descent down to the numbers, hopefully. Okay. Even if you have to put a little bit of an S shape in or something oh. like that. And are we going around this village, did you yeah. say, or...? I have control of the throttle and what oh, yeah, we're going round the village to the right. Uh, no, 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 Sorry. we'll cut in, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to bring your speed back to 95. Thank you. Bend up a you bit can, you can do it, there's nothing hard I'm in there. OK, wing level, just about north there, that's good. Hold 800, back on with the power and touch to hold 95 for you. Bend blue, we've not gone green yet. No, that's it, yeah. Okay. Engine fails now. Pop her back. Okay. All yours. Oh, right, yeah, I've got it. You've got to decide when. Oh, it. I've already done it. Pretty hard decision, this. Yeah, because the second you go down there, you go down faster. We're doing the 800 feet already, and it can go to about 11, 1200 if you do. You need to be in the high key position, so delay it a little bit longer. Center, final 279 approach, touching it. Okay. Next wind, 2808. No flat required. And throttle has failed. And we're going to the undershoot here. Okay, radio has gone. Oh, right look now. at that. Victor. Okay, go around. So that didn't work, did it? Oh, Jesus, that's... Um, it's really, really hard to judge, I think. Positive right. Up. Yeah, that went down like an ounce. So I thought I was putting it in just about time. Yeah, and we were getting in a sticky situation there, where if you don't go gear down at a certain point, the gear won't be down for the touch. I know, and that's either. what I was thinking. And I felt like I turned as soon as it happened. Maybe should I turn further in and cut that corner more? This is training your brain, isn't it? Yeah. This aeroplane, this type of aeroplane. The crawl part, believe it or not, is 95 knots. Yeah. Because while you've got 120, you've got lots of forward momentum, haven't you? 105 is in the middle there, between yeah. 95 and 120. So if he reduces the speed down to 95, you kind of know what's coming if it's... You're going to get one anyway, but line approach. So it turns out to the brakes, under the carriage reflecting down. Area 70, downwind left 27, the line approach, don't you go? Area 70. And the power goes now. Okay, I reckon so. The hold, that's it, rod go down. Area 70, final line approach. 70, surface wind 290, 16. 16 knots, so it's about 20 minutes only, thank you. Let's just delay it a little bit longer. Now the threshold is going under the nose, isn't it? Yeah, so I think we're about That's outside better. now. That's better. And we have three greens, reds, blues. Greens. And I think one stage. That's better, yeah. Two. Yep. And we're safe to roll off this. Yes. Just a flare to go. Beautiful. Right, we've got two stages flat for departure. Roger. She almost goes up like early. a Russian. Jeez. That's enough. That's it. A positive right, gears coming up, flaps are going to make. Got one, I think. Final 2-7 left. Then pause in the middle nicely. There's 18 on That's it. 
And that's perfect. Flap gear, flap, flap. That's always the order. You're not going to go wrong. Right, this one is to land. To land. But I've got one last thing up my sleeve. Oh. Uh. Right, what's the speed of the end of the white arc? Flat limiting speed is... That's 103 at the top and at the bottom we're looking at about 55. 55. So I want no slower than 65 across the threshold, or to the threshold, shall I say. We're going to do a short field landing. Lovely. So no one's slower than 65. Copied. Now, I would probably, in these conditions, the not turbulent, it starts shaving five, nine, five knots off now. About now. OK, so 75 knots. Approach yeah. to something clear. So that you can prepare yourself earlier on rather than later on. Every 70 is fine to land. Landing 27, Aero 70. Reds, blues, green. We'll get the final flaps now. That's it. And yeah. that's 70. Secret is to come slightly lower as well. Remember what I did yeah. on Saturday. So you want to sink now, <laughs> slowing down as well. Got red, blue, green, full flaps. We'll look for 65 across the numbers. So still a little high because you're carrying inertia here on you with the speed. It's looking better now, that's better, that's better. Speed's looking good as well, holder there. Aiming for the numbers, on and off the throttle if required. And power off. Beautiful. You didn't go for it, you tried That's far better, isn't it? Yeah, we could have got off there, couldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so I dropped slightly below 65 at one point there. No, but over the threshold there. It was about okay. Yeah. It's a bit more firmer than... But she feels a bit harder when you touch this down anyway. The Nerf Warrior. Rigid, yeah. So I'll be set 1200. That's it, checklist. Uh, landing time, we've monitored. Transponder is coming to standby. Veto heat is off. Strobes, uh, got the wing strobes coming off. Landing light is coming off. Fuel pump is coming off. Flaps will select up. Rim is on neutral, look at that. And that was also set. Um, yeah. Welcome, park over. Out the front. There we go, so RPMs at 1200, parking brake is coming on. Shut down, parking brake is set, and RPM is set 1200. Time, you've got yep. magnetos. No dead cut. Radios, we're not going to turn off, we're going to do that on the avionics master. 